Well, before starting the actual designing part, I want to tell you what we have over here on the screen. So, on the very right, we have pages. I have created three pages. The first one is design, the second one is YouTube, and the third one is learn. I am currently working on YouTube. This is why it is highlighted here. And over here, we have layers. Well, under layers, as you can see, we have one layer which says resources. Now, if you double click on this grid icon which says frame, you will be navigated to resources frame. Now, as you can see, I have a picture and two colors for the resources. Well, I'm going to provide the resources to you so you can always download it from the description. And in the description, you will also find a link of a telegram group. Now, you should consider joining the telegram group. It is because you have two benefits. The first one is you will be always updated whenever I'm dropping a new video. And the second benefit is you can discuss the designs and you can learn from others. So it's a win-win situation. So consider joining the telegram group. Well, if you see, I have this black box over here and what it does is whenever I press a key on my keyboard, let's say Z, then it says it aloud. Well, this is the only function of this black box. Whenever I'm going to press a shortcut, it will say it aloud so that you know that what shortcuts I'm using. And one last thing that I want to draw your attention to is when I selected my frame, which is resources, the options have appeared over here. Now, if I change the dimension, let's say if I change the width from 2300 to let's say 1500, the dimension change over here. So from the left panel, you can control whatever you have on this canvas. So let's go back to normal. And now let's start designing. Well, very first thing that we need to design that layout is a frame. Now you have two options, either press F or you can always go to this grid icon over here, which says frame. And you will see on the right panel, the frames will appear over here. And I'm going to select this text of frame. So this is here. Now, if you double click on this grid icon, it will zoom it to fit, which is perfect. The very first thing that I want to do is I want to provide this text of frame a corner radius. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text of frame. And in the corner radius, I'm going to write 24. So a corner radius of 24 will be provided on all the sides of this frame. Well, this looks good. Now the next thing that I need is the color. So for the color, what we are going to do, we are going to go to the resources. From the resources, I'm going to grab this color, which is written here. So I've copied it and let's go to our desktop frame. But let's name it something. Let's name it hero section. Now let's provide it colors. So for the colors, well, why I'm saying colors, you will get to know in a bit. Well, in the fill, you need to click on this white square. And here you need to go into this, which says gradient. Now in the gradient for the top color, I'm going to select the color that I copied earlier. Hit enter. And for the darker color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second color, which is also given here. So now the color part is sorted. And now if you see the canvas and the frame is kind of blending into each other. Well, I don't want them to blend with each other because this might affect our design. Well, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And here in the stroke, I'm going to provide a stroke of width four. And the color is going to be white. Now it's differentiate this canvas from this frame. Now, since we are sorted with the frame, now let's start working on the content of this hero section. So for that, what we are going to do is, first of all, let's select this hero section and provide layout grid. Well, in the grid, go here, click on this icon and then switch to columns. In the count, pass 16 and in the margin, pass 100. Well, this is completely arbitrary. This is what I use in my design. If you have something of your own, you can also use that. Well, these guidelines, if you can see, the red bars has appeared over here. Now, this will guide us throughout the process of designing so that we don't miss the alignment. Since everything is ready, let's start working with the navbar. 
So take a text and write grow.io. Well, this is going to be the name of our website and the size is going to be 40. Not semi bold, it is going to be medium. Well, let's keep it here. And now let's get few more text for the nav links. So the first nav link that I have over here is home. Copy it. And the second one is services. We also need a third one. So the third one is pricing. Now select them all. The size is going to be 20. Well, 20 looks small, so let's go with 24. Yeah, 24 is okay. And provide auto layout by using this icon or either pressing shift A. So now they has been added to the auto layout. Now, what is the benefit of auto layout? I'm going to show you right now. As you can see, the direction and the gap over here is set from top to bottom. So what we are going to do is we are going to make it from left to right. And for the width, let's say hug contents. So it will fill it completely. Now for this gap between these nav links, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 80. Well, 80 looks fine and let's place them over here. Now we need some sort of button over here. So to make button, what we are going to do is we are going to grab a text again. Well, why text? Let me explain you. Now, if I take a text and write here register, which is going to be the button text and provide an auto layout. Let's fill it so that we can see it. And let's change the color of this text. Now, if I grab our text and change the size, let's say 74, as you can see, the button size will also increase. Well, this is the benefit of using auto layout as a button instead of using rectangles with text. Well, let's go back to the original button. So control Z. Now let's start styling this button. Select this button. And here in the padding, what I'm going to do is for the horizontal padding, I'm going to provide 22. And for the vertical padding, I'm going to keep it 10. I'm also going to provide it a corner radius of 10. And now it looks like a button. Let's zoom out. Place it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two and put them inside auto layout. Now since they are inside this auto layout, I'm going to select this and this website name. I'm going to put them in auto layout again. Now since auto layout has put them in a frame, this has become one element. And by using this tool, which is here, which says align horizontal centers, I will be able to align them horizontally on the center of this website. Let's bring them down a bit. And now this is perfect. Now, if you are creating a website and if you come to this page, you will not know that what page you are at. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to denote that we are on the home page. So for that, I'm going to make these two pieces of text blend with the background by providing some opacity of let's say 40. So now they blend with the background and this emphasize that we are on the home page. Well, now it's time for the big thing. So let's grab our picture and put it inside our website. So let's go to resources, copy it from here, go to hero section and paste it over here. Let's align it by using this alignment tool. So it is at the center now. Now let's get our big text first. So for that, take text and write perspective. The size is going to be 232. Put it at the center. And now as you can see, this is quite wide for our text. So let's change the font family. 
So select this text and here instead of outfit, I'm going to use a font which is Khand. Well, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but for me it is Khand. Well, now let's put it at the center and from the medium, it is going to be bold. Now, since this has been aligned perfectly, let's move it to back by right clicking and selecting this option which says send to back. Now, let's get another piece of text and right here, get, well, not inside that. Well, let's get another text and right here, get, well, we need to change the font family. So, select your text and go back to outfit and here write get a new height and new well let's select this text because we want to decrease the font size to 44 and from bold it is going to be medium place it over here So this has been perfectly aligned. Now we need an arrow. So for the arrow, what you can do is you can press L, which also stands for line and draw here a line. Now, as you can see, the line has bent from here. So to avoid this bending, what we can do is we can set this transform to zero. And in the weight, I'm going to provide two so that it will be thicker. And now let's grab it and align it with the text. So a bit up and a bit right. So yeah, this is good. Now we need two CTAs over here. Well, what are CTAs? Well, CTA stand for call to action, which means we need two buttons which will be called for an action. All this part of this website is either provided for the navigation or provided to direct user somewhere. So we need two call to action buttons which will provide user the more information or the more depth knowledge of this website. So for that, you're going to tell me what we need over here to make a button. Exactly, a text. So grab this text and write get started. Well, the size is quite big, so let's select it and provide a size of 20. Let's keep it medium, zoom it over here, right click and provide auto layout. Fill it with the white color. For the text color, we are going to go with the primary color. Now the horizontal padding is going to be 22 and the vertical padding is going to be 16. The corner radius is going to be 12. And now our button is ready and just place it over here. Now copy paste this button. In the fill, again go to gradient, shift this gradient to horizontal. And for the darker color, I'm going to go with white, but with zero opacity. Well, as you can see, if I'm going with zero opacity, then this part will not be visible. So to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it out a bit. And now this is fairly visible. Let's change the text because we cannot have two buttons directing to one thing. So this will say no more. And the color is also going to be changed. Why? I will tell you. So let's change the color to white. And now we will decrease overall opacity of this button, which is given over here. So from 100, let's go with 40. Now 40 looks good and place it here. Let's zoom out and take a good look of it. Well, to me, this looks great. And now, if you see this part of this website looks kind of empty. So to fill this emptiness, what we can do is we can provide some description text over here. 
So for the dummy text, which is lorem ipsum, what we are going to do is, let's go to this new tab. And here in the Google search, type for lorem ipsum. We'll select this much of text, go back to design and paste it over here. The font size is going to be 18. The color is going to be white with the opacity of let's say 60% and this obviously needs to be small. So let's change it, take it from here and place it here. Well now we need to align this with this text. So for that let's decrease the width and now let's remove this part. I'm just trying to decorate it a bit more so that it looks good. So yeah, this looks good now. But if you see this part of this website and this part of this website still looks kind of empty. So to fix this, what we can do is we can take this picture, copy paste this, put it here and transform it, basically change the angle to 18 degrees and put it just like this. So now the right part is fixed. For the left part, what we are going to do is we are going to grab a text and make it really big. So the font size is going to be 400 and it is going to be bold. Let's place it over here. Well, this is way too big. So let's decrease some font size. Okay, this much is good. Place it over here. And now if you see, if you come to this website, the only thing that is going to grab the attention is this 01. Well, we don't want that. We want the user to read this text first and then go to the important details of this website. So to diminish its personality, what we can do is we can reduce the opacity to let's say 10%. Well, now this place is filled and this does not looks empty, but it also does not grab the attention of this user. So this is how we have purposefully designed this website. Well, let's remove this auto layout so that we can get a good look of this website. So select your frame. And then in the layout grid, you can hide this eye icon. And now, as you can see, we have created this beautiful website. Randomly click on the canvas, go to this show hide UI, and this will hide all the options. Well, let me put it on the full screen. Let's zoom it. And now, as you can see, this text has been misplaced. It is because of a very important reason. So let's go back and enable our UI options. And now if I click on this text, you will see this is out of this frame, which is hero section. This is why when I move hero section, this does not move along with the hero section. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this piece of text and put it inside this hero section. Now, since it is inside this hero section, let's fix it. This is good. Again, show hide UI. And now this overall look of this website is kind of great. And we have achieved the aim of this video. Well, I know this was a short video. I hope it is. But this was quite informational. I hope you liked this video. We will meet in the next one.